or five, six hundred. I don't see why Charlie shouldn't catch an early train. After all, it's Saturday. But you know Charlie, he's married to that old author. And you wish he were married to you. Oh, Jane, don't be silly. Charlie's nice, but... Hello. May I speak with Mr. Howard, please? He's nice, but you don't think for a moment I'm anxious to... Hello, Charlie. This is Carol. I'm at the club. Mm-hmm. It's a perfectly glorious day. Couldn't you catch the 11.30? Oh, Charlie. All right, then. Ralph says he'll console me. As a matter of fact, he says it's okay with him if you stay in town all weekend. Mm hmm He's here right now. What a fib. You will? Oh, that's marvelous. I'll meet you at the train. Goodbye, dear. Why, Carol Dorfman, you know Ralph the way on a business trip. Darling, I had my fingers crossed, so don't go. He's coming out on the very next train. Excuse me, girls. I'd like to get a word in now. I see that both of you are wearing stripes, and they're an important fashion, too. Yes, Jane, we like your white decay tennis cap. To say nothing of your striped blazer. Carol's jacket is like a tunic with that new, longer look. My, what a handsome bag. Just like a binocular case. And it holds everything. Well, that is almost everything. Charlie will arrive soon. You'd better hurry into one of your glamorous dresses, Carol. This fly fox. Or whatever the feminine is for fox. See you on the terrace later. Hello, girls. Having fun? It certainly is a lovely day. It makes us envious just to look at you. And a game of checkers after a hard set of tennis is relaxing. Ouch! Jane, you're such a scamp. What's up? Been playing badminton? That stripe of Sora play dress Alice is wearing is just the thing for tennis. And her gaudy stocking cap is a pet. Looking for a bruise, dear? Oh, she didn't bump you that hard. Helen wears a sunback striped beach dress with a little bolero and lace belt. There's lots of gold in that belt print. My, how fresh you look, even after badminton. That's where the fabrics help. They're sturdy. Martha covers her brown shorts with a matching bolero and skirt. Patsy adds a little girl skirt to her play suit. Hi, Gloria. Oh, what a lovely hand-painted flax suit and parasol to match. Gloria always has a secret to tell. Oh, it's only a pebble in her shoe. Now we get a closer view of her black and white wraps. Cool, comfortable, lightweight, extremely smart, and the most popular sports shoe of the summer. And here's Carol, all ready to meet Charlie. We know he'll like your plaid jersey dress and Kelly Green snood. Goodbye now. See you all this afternoon. I hope Charlie doesn't hear that Ralph hasn't been at the club today. I think you're headed for trouble. Well, he's having fun on the golf course, isn't he? We ought to be finished soon. It's only four. Oh, good. Then we'll have time for tea out in the terrace. Will you see if my bow's straight? How you girls love to chatter. Well, it's my turn now. Carol, that's a cute bit of organy frou-frou on your gray print dress. And what a mad green hat. Oh, it's very flirtatious. Jane is pretty as a picture in her gay pink snood, and her big organdy collar is superb flattery. See what long, slim lines her print tunic dress give her. She's wearing blue ramps this afternoon. Isn't it a pretty shoe? And a pretty color, too. All set? Well, off we go to join the other girls at tea. Hello, everybody. Oh, my, we hardly recognize you. You're letting the men wear the pants this afternoon. Fashions are certainly gay this summer. A sandwich, Jane? That one, Carol. No? Oh, it must be love. She doesn't need a thing. Tea pastel? And congratulations on your big, dippy blue hat. And that beautiful blue chiffon dress. It has a long waistline, too. Martha wears a gay frock with bright flowered skirt and a severe blue jersey bodice. Red, white, and blue is her patriotic color scheme. More tea, Gloria? Oh, my. 
But don't you worry. All rayons clean easily. And that handsome cocoa print will come out just as lovely as ever. Gloria also wears a tunic. I like your green and white striped dress, Alan. It's so attractive. Stripes, parasols, tunics, and snoods are summer favorites. What goes on, Alan? The men are putting right in front of the club. Good shot, Charlie. You'll have to be good to beat that, Howie. The finish is going to be exciting. You girls go over and watch it, and I'll see you at the dance this evening. Incidentally, I'm betting on Charlie. Goodbye. What kept you so long? I came as soon as I could. Tell me, did Charlie find out? Mm -hmm. One of the caddies told you. You mean Vivian? Oh, no, silly, of course not. One of the golf caddies. Oh. <laughs> During dinner tonight, Charlie hardly spoke a word. And afterwards, he said he wanted to have things out. So we walked down to the beach, and James, what do you suppose? Look. Carol, it's you. Oh, <laughs> I'm so thrilled. Charlie said he wanted to tag me so he wouldn't have any more of that Ralph competition. <laughs> he said he bought it this morning right after I telephoned. <laughs> It's easy to understand why Charlie felt that way. You look so desirable in your new dress. It's just what a girl should be wearing when her beau proposes. Look at its romantic wall time skirt with black lace inserts. Look at the fragile bodice and the spunky shoulders. Jane has a new dress, too. Her skirt is made of layers and layers of pink and gray net. The waistline is longer for evening, too. Oh, very pretty and gay. Hold it off for us, Jane. No skimping up fabrics this season. Why, here's Gloria. Come see what Carol's got. Isn't that something? Twelve carrots and a whole slew of baguettes. But you're wearing a jewel or two yourself. You're the Carmen Miranda of this party with your hand-painted print, bare midriff, and bright sashes. Alice and Patsy have sniffed intrigue, too. That's right. Come down and look the sparkler over. Alice wears a two-tone on. Turn around, dear. Blue and gray with a matching cape. Patsy looks like a peppermint stick in her red and white candy stripes. Sweet as can be. Just in time, Martha. Looky, romance has come to our little club. Wish you had one? Well, your new dress should be some consolation. It's a gaudy print topped by a yellow jacket. Doesn't it fit like a dream? And see the hood. You're all prepared for a romantic stroll down the beach. Oh, your hair won't get lost. <laughs> that is, uh, not by the wind. Your yellow cape skin bag does double duty. It's equally smart by day or night. We were expecting you, Helen. Women flock to an engagement ring like bees to the honeysuckle. This is certainly a gala evening. And you have a new dress, too. Pink and brunette. Oh, very feminine. Helen has an idea. And it's about leap year. And men. I'll let you guess the rest. Uh-huh. I'm afraid the boys are sunk now. Those girls mean business. Good luck. All right, Carol and Jane, be smug. You've got your men. But don't forget, nice clothes do help, don't they? Well, they say clothes make the woman, and they certainly make the man. <laughs> <laughs>